This is why you should always secure your wireless networks. Here's a unsecured Linksys router. Showing me that its SSID or wireless network name is Linksys leads me to believe that they left their router on default settings. We are now connected to the router. The next thing we need to find is the gateway IP address. So we're going to pull up DOS here. We're going to type in ipconfig, ipconfig, and press enter. That gives us the router's gateway IP address, 192.168.1.1. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Open up Internet Explorer. Go into the address bar. Type in the router's gateway IP address. I already have it in the history bar. Press Enter. It now asks for a secure username and password login for the Linksys router. I happen to know what a Linksys router's default access is. It's a blank username, admin for the password field. Click OK. And da da, we're inside the Linksys router of an unknown, unsuspecting victim. First thing we're going to do is change the administrative password and lock them out of the router altogether. So we'll uh, go ahead and change the password from admin. And we'll go ahead and change this one to hacked, just to be a dick. So you'll want to save that as soon as you change the administra administrative password. Now, anytime you reset the, anytime you save a setting in a Linksys router, it is going to disconnect and ask you to reconnect. So now we're going to put in. Ah, now we're going to put in the, the new password that I entered. And I'm back into the router. Next step, let's go into wireless. First thing we're going to do is rename the wireless network name. They had it as Linksys. We're going to delete that. And we're going to put in S-E-C-U-R-E, -E, secure your shit, bitch. Just a little warning. Let, let them know they need to secure their router. We'll save the settings. Settings are successful. Continue. You'll click continue and you'll notice that after a minute the Internet Explorer will actually time out and tell you that you have no connection to the Internet. What's happening is the router is rebooting real quickly and it's going to have to reconnect. Internet Explorer cannot display the web page. That's fine. Close the Internet Explorer. Go back into your wireless network settings. Tell it to reconnect to the Linksys router. Actually, sorry, I skipped the step. Refresh your networks in list first. And now you should see the new SSID or network name that you created. If this laptop will pick it up, I am sitting in a truck in a parking lot in downtown Columbus. There it is. Secure your shot, bitch. We're going to go ahead and tell it to reconnect back to that router. Let's move the laptop here. Acquiring network address, it is connecting, waiting, with poor wireless signals, can't guarantee that it's always going to connect real fast, so we are waiting, And we are now connected again, back into the Linksys router. We already know that the gateway IP address is 192.168.1.1, so we will go back into the Linksys router, asking us for the username and password. The password is now the password that I chose to create to lock them out. And we're back inside the Linksys router. The next step will be to turn on wireless security. This will require them to enter in a 10-digit password before they can connect to the router wirelessly. So we're going to turn on web security. Okay, it wants us to create a password. 
So we will do one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero. Something simple has to be exactly ten digits long. All numbers preferably keeps it easy. You can do mixed hexadecimal. It's up to you what you want to do. So we're going to save the settings once again. Come on. This is why we hate Microsoft. Okay, now we got Internet Explorer cannot display the web page because the router has kicked us out due to security being turned on. So we close Internet Explorer, refresh networks and list. Okay, now there's the Linksys connection, secure your shit bitch, security enabled. Meaning, let's click connect and it asks us for a password and that is how you lock somebody out of the router I know the password so I would be able to enter the password you have to do it twice and then click connect now it's going to take a minute to confirm the security key it's acquiring and it is connected and I now have internet access through some absolute strangers links this wireless router because they failed to take the necessary steps to secure their shit. So let this be a lesson to you. In under seven minutes, somebody can hack your shit and you can be completely locked out of your router. Have a good day.